General Motors is facing the risk of another labor strike, even as it struggles to reach a deal with the UAW. 4,300 workers at its Canadian plants are threatening to walk off the job if they cannot reach a deal by midnight tonight. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance reporter Pras Subramanian for more on this. Um, Pras, this is certainly not good timing for GM, but what are the key sticking points right now? Yeah, well, it seems that uh, Canada's Unifor is saying that GM is resisting some of the deal elements that struck with Ford Canada, right? So um, basically what happens is the unions will use their first deal, in this case with Ford, as a pattern agreement to use with the others, right? So in this case, uh, Unipor was able to get a 25% wage increase, COLA protection, and cutting top pay wage progression time to four years uh, for those workers. Now, Uniform says GM is resisting the budge on issues like that, including expanding benefits to GM's full-time temp workers, uh, a universal health care allowance beyond what uh, Canada's national system uses for retirees, and then also outlining future projects and hiring commitments. This is kind of a big deal, namely with new factories that and and things that will build new new they'll, they'll build batteries and next gen vehicles. Excuse me. So, that, like you said, if no deal reached tonight, potentially forty three hundred GM workers will go on strike. So those are the sticking points right now uh, as the deadline approaches. And Pras, what's the very latest on the UAW strike? Uh, we now have an expansion in, into Mack trucks. Right. So today, well. Mack Trucks, their they're, they're UAW workers there at Mack Trucks rejected uh, a deal that the, the two sides actually agreed upon uh, by 73% no vote. Now, what happens here is that the actual UAW members, that the vote is the is the main important determinant of as to whether the deal is going to happen, and they rejected this deal. Uh, UAW President Sean Fain said he's inspired to see UAW members uh, holding Mack Trucks out for a better deal. Conversely, Mack Trucks CEO Stephen Roy said he was surprised and disappointed by the rejection, claiming the truck maker had bargained in good faith with the UAW. So nonetheless, you see here that the UAWs have, have the members have the final say with any deal, and if they don't think it's good enough, they're going to show some resiliency, which I, I was surprised by, and I think even the union was surprised by as well. Yeah, all the actions. Certainly keeping you busy, Pras. Pras Subramanian, as always, thanks so much for that. Thanks.